we rewrote the textbooks in our industry when we said we're going to do innovation by doing it ourselves, which is what every high-tech company did. But we're also going to do it by acquisitions, and we're going to also do it by strategic partnerships. In fact, strategic partnerships may be the most important play for this next decade of anything relation-wise, but not the strategic partnerships of the past. On areas where we felt we had to move very rapidly and there was not an ideal target to acquire, but yet I couldn't do it under a traditional approach, we invented the concept of spin-ins, which is where we took anywhere from two to perhaps as many as 20 of our best thinkers in the company that were entrepreneurial, basically a hard startup type mentality. We took them outside the company, changed their compensation, lower salary, but huge opportunity if you're successful. We de predetermined what the price for the spin-in would be based upon revenues and profits and when it would have to occur by, and then we spun them back in. All four, we were just completing our fourth one with, uh, in the area of applications, uh, have been billion dollar markets for us per year within three years. Wow. I mean, people just, and all three of the four, and we think we got on the fourth one, became the number one player within that same time period in the whole industry. So it's a very a creative approach. Now the problem is you have a person sitting here and the person across the hall, this person might make a million dollars, the person across the hall makes 120,000. There are very few companies that would accept that. But what we did, we said it's the, all of our benefits to move in these areas quickly, which we will all benefit from in terms of the company's growth. And then in theory, people could have a chance to do these themselves in terms of direction. And then you remind them what happens if we hadn't moved here where a new competitor, often a startup competitor or several, would take the market share from us. Uh, it would be very difficult to do that in most companies and it's almost impossible to do unless the CEO, she or he gets behind it and drives it through. But we have no fear. We'll try a lot of different things and I make no apologies. You know, the only apology I'll make is I didn't move fast enough or I should have put process behind it in terms of the direction. So uh, very few other companies try this. Now, interesting enough, once we did the spin-ins, guess what we could do? We started to learn how to do internal startups without it being a spin-in. And so you learn each iteration of what works and doesn't work. 